Welcome back to Living Local. It's time for Pet of the Week, and we are joined by Patty McCray with the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. Who do you who do you have with us today? Well, I brought Crypto with me, and he is 14 years old. Okay. He's like a little mixed breed, probably um, some Shih Tzu and Cocker Spaniel. Okay. He's a neutered male. He's current on vaccines. He's microchipped. He is ready to go. Okay, awesome. And how long has he been with the shelter? He's only been with us for probably a little over a week unfortunately his family was wasn't able to take care of him any longer so okay. we have him he's been a little stressed at the shelter right. so we really want to try to find him a home as soon as possible right it can be a stressful environment yes so mm -hmm. what kind of home do you think would be best for crypto well honestly I think probably any type of a home I think he'd be okay with um, probably older kids because he's probably not one that's going to want to be picked up by young kids right um, if it an older couple maybe wants to have a nice little companion. He yes. loves to go for walks, so okay. he's still an active dog even right. being 14. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, and when could someone possibly meet to or meet meet to adopt crypto? Right, so we're open every day okay. and we are closed on Tuesdays and Sundays from noon to 5. Okay, and would you be open to having fosters possibly? Uh, we can definitely talk about fostering. Um, he's, he's ready to go, ready to be adopted, but um, he, definitely I could talk to someone if they are wanting to try to foster him. Okay, awesome. That's always good to know. Yeah. And do you maybe have any other fun things that are coming up this month yeah, in the shelter? Yeah, we do. Um, so this Saturday, we are partnering with the Humane Society of Scott County. Okay. They're having their doggy Easter egg hunt at okay. Centennial Park. It's from 10 to 1. Okay. So we're going to have our vet van there, and we're going to be offering free microchipping. Awesome. That's yeah, really nice, it's really actually. great. Um, it is permanent identification. Right. It goes in between their shoulder blades, right. and it's just like a vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do that for cats and dogs. If you are bringing a cat, make sure you have your kitty in a carrier. And do keep in mind that there's probably going to be a couple hundred dogs there. So if you bring your cat, it could be a little stressful for them. Okay, okay. And let's jump back to possibly like the older dogs. So why is it important for people to take the time to come see them and maybe try to get them adopted? Yeah, so older dogs um, probably are housebroke. Um, potentially have lived in a home, have lived with kids, people, um, so kind of are used to the routine of living in a family, which is really great. So right. not a whole lot of training that needs to be done with an older dog. Okay. And, and you're giving them a second chance at life. You're giving them the opportunity to be happy and to live in a family again. And, and that's really what the goal is, is to find them another family. Okay. And then earlier you mentioned that he, do, he wasn't doing too well at the um, yeah. shelter. Yeah. So maybe once he comes home, do do you have any tips for people who are thinking to adopt him but maybe a little unsure about having an older pet or maybe a pet that's a little bit more anxious at times? Yes, yeah, so definitely want to spend some time with him. Just, we call it a three week shutdown. Okay. So three weeks, keep him in the home, take him out for walks around your home. Yes. Don't take him to a park of or course. take him somewhere where there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Let him get acclimated to being in your home and give that three weeks for him to get used to you. Okay. And just take it slow and lots of lots of patience is really what we say. Okay, I love that. And that's nice to know for anyone who may be looking forward to maybe thinking about adopting yeah, crypto. Definitely. And now earlier we chatted a little bit and you mentioned that later in the month you're doing um, a flea and tick prevention because spring is right around the corner. Yeah, it's tomorrow actually. Yeah. So it, at the end of um, March is a uh, tick prevention. Yes. And and so just think about that spring's going to be here. Yes. Fleas and ticks um, are really bad news. So get your, your prevention now. Talk to your vet. Um, okay. Get that prevention and get them on your pet before they go outside and they bring that into your home. Okay. And our clinic, we have um, a wellness clinic right. and it's every Wednesday from 8 to 11 and we do offer several products for fleas and ticks at a lower cost. So come check us out or just go talk to your vet. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Patty, for being here. And thank you, Crypto, for <laughs> chatting with us today. And again, Crypto is our pet of the week. You can learn more at QCAQC.org. And we'll also have those details posted on ourquatcities.com. 